highly volatile. I am sure you do not intend to abort the mission, but I suggest you avoid combat for the time being. Welcome back to Metal Gear Rising Revengeance. Raiden is in really bad shape and I have had some feedback over the previous episodes that you are totally cool with me using the codec. And this is a perfect time to talk to my team now to talk about my current state. Raiden! Raiden, come in! What is wrong? You knew those cyborgs signed up for this. What's the problem with it now? Don't you get it, Boris? I thought you of all people might understand. I thought you knew what it means to take a life, the weight of it. Not an easy thing to put into words. What about when the Soviets invaded Afghanistan? You killed dozens of guerrillas. Duh, because Comrade Brezhnev told me to. Men don't like killing their own kin. Even animals are the same way. But when you really believe in someone or something, sometimes it is the only way. <sighs> Your cause is just right then. You must remember. I'm trying, but... Christ! You're right. We've got to free those brains. Yes, stay strong, Raiden. Stay strong. Raiden? You okay? Yeah, they knew what they signed up for. Maybe life backed them into a corner, but they knew the risks. Exactly. A contractor's always balancing those risks against the money he's making. Those cops are no different. That, and they're actively helping Sundowner and Armstrong with all their shit. Having a bit of regret doesn't make killing kids okay. Yeah, they had to know they were working for the bad guys. Even if they didn't, it doesn't absolve them of all their crimes. Yeah, I know, Kev, but... Bryden? I... I don't have time to think about this right now. I need to get back to the mission. Roger that. Raiden, are you okay? Sam sure plays dirty. No, he's right. The cyborgs who signed on with Desperado and World Marshal, most of them had no other choice. No one put a gun to their heads, but they were screwed to begin with. Their contracts worked completely against them. Still... I knew all that, but hearing those voices, it hit me hard. I guess I was just kidding myself the whole time. Still, there's nothing you could have done for them. But those children... I'll get them back. Raiden, I... I just wish I could do more from here. It's all right, Courtney. Sometimes just having someone to talk to is good enough. I'm happy to help. I should probably save your data. No. Okay, check back if you change your mind. Yeah, riding out. All right, speak to the doctor. Doc, what did Sam do to them? Well, many cyborg soldiers' emotions are regulated by nanomachine-controlled drag doses and electric stimuli. It sustains the subject's confidence while suppressing fear, anxiety, any emotions detrimental to mission performance, really. I suspect that Desperado also uses it to boost the aggressiveness of their employees. Once, SOP nanomachines were used to control all PMC contractors, not just cyborgs in this way. These days, you can control cyborgs with far more accuracy than ever before. You are connecting directly to their central nervous and control systems, after all. I know all of that. But how could I hear it? Emotions can be suppressed in part purely by chemical interaction. This is done by administering dopamine using beta blockers, cutting off the reabsorption of serotonin. However, emotions are one way in which the brain reacts to the impulses sent from the nervous system. These impulses come in many forms. For example, external information from visual and oral sensors or input from the somatosensory system and from one's own consciousness. The changes in intraneural balance, the innovation potential and consciousness that result, these things are what we generally refer to as emotion. In recent years, it has become possible to even alter one's consciousness via the right electrical stimuli. However, retaining full balance with this method still proves difficult. The latest research I've seen has been most enlightening. A suppressed set of emotions creates a closed feedback loop within the subject's consciousness. The cut-off consciousness generates its own emotion on some level, based on outside stimuli. But there is no way to actually output this emotion. The cut-off consciousness? Well, in an intense combat situation, have you ever felt as if what you are experiencing wasn't real? That you are viewing your own actions from some external vantage point? Yeah, 
That does happen sometimes. Most likely, the sensation is rather close to that. The consciousness is inherently separate from the decision-making parts of the brain. Experiments using functional MRI imaging have revealed much about the decision-making process. For example, did you know that the brain has already come to a conclusion seven seconds before the decision is consciously made? In any case, while attending the Tucson conference, I heard about the most fascinating experiment. Output from the consciousness was separated from that produced by the decision-making brain. If I had to guess, World Marshal has taken such research and put it into full practical use. That's... that's crazy. What could it possibly be good for? Well, judging Absolutely by your nothing. current state, I'd say it has proven to be quite the useful psychological weapon. Well. Scientists do not engage in pure research because they think it will necessarily prove useful in the future. They are curious. They want to know more, whether about the brain or elemental particles or any other thing. Locating funding for pure science projects is challenging, no doubt. But the results can form the core of future, more practical technologies. Consider the direct links between the theory of relativity and nuclear weapons, for example. It's an interesting weapon. Like, really does fuck with your mind. I mean, Raiden's right now in a really bad shape. He couldn't fight anyone right now. Um, and imagine that hitting someone who isn't as well adapted to combat as Raiden. It would ruin them. Your earlier actions were reckless, Raiden. Not to mention the damage to a perfectly good car. <laughs> I knew the risks when I decided to go through with this. Besides, the car was mine. Maverick sold it to me. It's not meant for private use. It was made for ops like this. Regardless, your approach has proven most antagonistic. You are now a criminal, a public enemy, a police killing vigilante. Even if your actions reveal World Marshal's designs, you will be unable to avoid legal punishment. Probably not, but that's a price I'll have to pay. I gotta stop that VR program and get those kids back. I sealed my fate the second I attacked George. But George is not dead. In fact, he has obtained an even more versatile body than his previous one. I'm not talking about that. I'm talking about me. I was a child soldier in Liberia. Like Miss Troll said, I was a mentally deranged child. People feared me, called me Jack the Ripper. A result of the so-called Sears program. I thought I'd left it all in the past. But just like that, Jack came roaring back. This is why you are so driven to terminate the VR training. I... I understand. I will continue to cooperate. Copy that. Hmm. Well, we'll be visiting Raiden's past in uh, Metal Gear Solid 2 when we uh, get to that. Can't wait. All right, I hope you guys are happy that that's back. Um, remember, if I mean, I guess you've skipped it if you have. Um, if you're not into those scenes, then I guess I can understand you skipping them. But uh, they're really good. All right, so now this is kind of an awkward stealth part of the mission, it feels like. Um, I have to just get across the street. Like, look how close I am to the building I want to get to. It's like right there, but I have to get to it without being spotted by these guys, otherwise I'll get messed up. Oh god, there's one right there. I just have to get past this part over here. I'll let that guy see me. I should be able to make it all the way across from here, right? See? There you go. So now I just need to turn this corner, and I should be there. If you look at our mini-map, we've got apparently three enemies. Two in the main road, and then one where I'm having to go. There he is, 70 meters away. And the objective's 80. Am I going to have to actually get past that guy? No oh, more nano paste. sweet. This guy right there. Uh, he's walking in this direction, but apparently I'm just out of his range. Conveniently. Yeah, it looks like I'm going to have to walk past this guy with a gun awkwardly. Other than that, I've made it quite far with ease. Oh no, hang on, he's walking. Might be able to skirt past him. Nice. Perfect. And then there's these two, though. No, I can't get past these. 
Hello? Housekeeping! Oh shit. I need to get towards the building. Walk, Raiden, walk. It's an invisible wall there. They're just beating the crap out of me. Shit, I gotta fight back. I, there's no real way for me to fight, though. Shit. Oh, this is totally on purpose, isn't it? I'm meant to be doing this. There's Sam. Not so black and white now, is it? Is your cause just? Or is that just what you tell yourself? Fuck you! How pleased you are to chop away, Jack the Ripper. My name is Monsoon. Of the Winds of Destruction. Yeah. I guessed as much. on the insides of your enemies? How easily you ignore the loss of life when it suits your convenience. So tell me, who saves the weak from the man who saves the weak? You're the ones exploiting them. You take advantage of their weakness. Of course they get hurt when you set them up as your human shield. Kill or be killed, Jack. Phnom Penh taught me that. Yes, you aren't the only one to grow up on the killing fields. War is a cruel parent, but an effective teacher. Its final lesson is carved deep in my psyche. That this world and all its people are diseased. Free will is a myth. Religion is a joke. We're all poets, controlled by something greater. Memes. The DNA of the soul. They shape our will. They are the culture. They are everything we pass on. Expose someone to anger long enough, they will learn to hate. They become a carrier. Envy, greed, despair. No means. <laughs> what the fuck? How about food of shit? Is that a meme? Uh, you can't fight nature, is this... Jack. Wind blows. Oh man, Wind I love the humor of this game, man. <laughs> the <laughs> it's just a cat on the floor playing with a cat in the middle of this. <laughs> you fucking serious. That saves lives, a means of yep, that's about right. The cat's leaving him. Name. Exquisite. It spared you the burden <laughs> of all the lives you've taken. Absolved you of guilt. I like that god. I like that god. That is, until the illusion was broken. Don't be ashamed. It's only nature running its course. You have no choices to make. Nothing to answer for. You can die with a clear conscience. You're right. About me, I mean. I knew something was off. After the Patriots, I thought I could walk off the battlefield and into a normal life. But here I am, surrounded by death, arguing philosophy with terrorists. I told myself this was about justice, about protecting the weak. But I was wrong. <laughs> then you admit it. I learned young that killing your enemies felt good. Really good. In a 
America. My friends. My family. They helped me forget the devil inside. But who am I kidding? I was born to kill! Oh. The bit about my sword. That means of justice stuff. I guess I needed something to keep the Ripper in check when I was knee-deep in bodies. You? But you. All this is a wake-up call to what I really believe. What I really am. What are you saying? I'm saying Jack is back. Oh, shit. <laughs> Doctor, turn off my pain inhibitors. What? This, this is madness. You do it. All right. Just being nasty. <laughs> and there's the shitty voice acting. That nickname you love so much. Want to know how I got it? Actually, why don't I give you a demonstration? I think it's time for Jack to let her rip. Oh, it's on. But real quick, before we do that, I just want to talk to people while I'm in this state. Am I going to talk to them like I'm normal or am I going to be all fucked up Jack? Enough, Raiden. It's time to focus on defeating the enemy. Nope. Raiden? You okay? Never better, Kev. This guy was a wake-up call is all. But you... We'll talk later. Right now, it's time for Monsoon and Jack the Ripper to get acquainted. A truly fascinating cyborg. Remarkable limb detachment technology. Perhaps you'd benefit from such an ability, Raiden. Yeah, not interested. Why am I normal ah, now? Don't be so dismissive. Just consider it. With the right tactics, it could prove quite useful. Sure, but, you know, I, I just don't think I could ever get used Why to Why am I talking normal? No? Hmm. Indeed, I suppose detaching parts of your body would be quite a shock to the somatosensory system. Uh, yeah. That too. And Wolf? Raiden, this is most irregular. Humans are irregular, Wolf. You should know that by now. Anyway, no time for chit-chat. I need you to scout out that building. Understood. And Courtney? Uh, Raiden? Are you alright? Not now, Courtney. You're about to see the Ripper in action. Okay. But you called me. On the codec? Did you want to save, or...? N no. So then... What did you want? Uh, I forgot. <laughs> That's great. Alright, bring it on. Emma, 
shit. Alright. Bring it on. Nice. 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 <laughs> oh shit, that one was an awkward angle. Get off me, you bitch. Look at the way my sword's like all red now. Nice, oh, getting loads of damage in. Look at his health, already so low. No, you don't. Nice. God, I am wrecking him so much. Oh, the music of boss fights is so good. What are you doing? What is this? Oh, yes. <laughs> Fuck you and your shit. Give me more than that. You're gonna need more than that. Nice. Oh, that's so cool. It's so fun. I'm gonna need this nano paste. I'm so low. Alright, come here. Really? I can't hit him? He's like dodging every hit. That is weird. Uh, I'm not gonna... Okay, I might get hit there, though. I might get hit there, though. I'm not there, though. Shit, you're too slow, bro. Nice. Nice. Ah, uh, it wasn't so nice. Oh, Jesus, fuck. Fuck! Alright, I gotta dodge that. Lesson learned. Okay, lesson clearly not learned. I'm trying to block as much as I can. There we go. Oh, it hits me anyway. Come here. Come on, let me hit him. Ah, I'm getting so much stunned. Like, I can't block when I'm stunned. Get off. Get off. Alright. Oh, nice. Right now, we're just going to hit the hell out of his head, then. This is awkward. Nice. There we go. Let's get him down to a solid 50%. 60% right now. Oh, get off me. What the fuck? Fuck you. I'm not into that, I'm sorry. <laughs> 52%. Uh, next phase, right? Yep. Throw more stuff at me. Bring it on. Whoa, <laughs> free. Free jets. No big deal. Oh, jets. I mean, helicopters. Alright, let's get some more heals. I don't think this is very natural, to be honest with you. This doesn't seem like nature. Nice, cutting up some tanks. Alright, bring it on. I know I can't hit you. There you go. Fuck, get hit by, get hit by him on both sides there. He was kicking me. He was kicking me. Oh. He was kicking me at the same time as attacking me. With his body. Oh shit, gotta dodge that. Okay, no, okay, that can't dodge it. That's something I've learned. <laughs> shit. So much dodging. There you go, there you go. Well, I paused it. Threw me off a little bit. Come on, wake up. Alright, here we go. Oh, what the hell? He just became stunned. That was random. Nice. Oh, that felt good. The sound it made so loud. Ah, uh, you ain't getting me. Okay, you might get me a little bit. Yeah, you're getting stunned and chopped up. 40%. Here we go. Nearly got you. Get you on first try. Go. 
Am I really going to be able to chop that up? I don't think I'm meant to. <laughs> and again. Oh, it's so badass. Yeah, there we go. Chop it up. Chop it up. Get rid of it. Ah, uh, send it back. Send it back. Not big enough. I'm not convinced you have. Nope. Nope. Ah, okay, you might get me there, but not much. Ah, awkward angle. Nah, I won't. The music is great, holy crap. No, you're not getting me. Nope, 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 nope. Nice. I managed to break him when he was charging me. I didn't know I could do that. No, 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 it's fine. Okay. Nice. Nice. Another one. Nice. This is awesome. Got an achievement, what doesn't kill you. Alright, let's get some more damage in. 20% time. Not good enough. Nice. Ah, it was good enough, damn it. Oh, Jesus, he's stabbing the crap out of me. I'm quite low. But it's not enough to kill me. Alright, one more. He's going to throw more stuff at me, isn't he? Well, it's going to kill you. There we go. Oh, I love the chopping of them up. It's so cool. Oh, shit, that one actually got me. It's going to be faster. It threw, like, six at me. I need more space. Let's run back a bit. There you go. Nope. Nope. Up above, to the side, another one to the side, just barely got it. That's such a little fun, like, mini-game. Alright, come at me. Nope. I love parrying stuff, it's so good. Nice, nice, nice. Up. Oh. More. Give me more. There you go. One more. Gotta parry everything. Attacking me twice. Oh shit, I fucked that up, didn't I? Alright, come on, bring it on. A bit more. Yes! There you go. Let's get you down. Nice, 20%. Wake up, man. I am trying to parry those, by the way. It's very hard. It's very quick. Uh, I'm getting like half of them. Oh. Nice. There we go. Real damage. Damn it, let me attack you. Oh, we got another big thing, big chunk. We're just gonna parry this and cut it up. Seriously, the music is great. Not good enough. Let's cut it up. I like how it's all the things he's been throwing at me, like, slammed together. Just, like, works well together with the fight. Okay, that's a little bit bigger. Am I going to be able to cut that up or what? I'll laugh if I parried this thing. What am I going to do? 
I guess I'm gonna do this. Oh, nice. Uh. Nah, not good enough. Not good enough. Don't mind if I do. Ah, just cut him up. Put you into more pieces. Nice. I got an A. Could have been better, but still an A. God, imagine trying to do that and take no damage. That'll be hard. Kill or be killed. Don't be ashamed. It's only nature running its course. Your means end here. No, I passed one to you. Sure as the sun will rise. The slaughter will continue. Now, I return to the earth. Wind blows. Rain falls. The strong prey on the weak. All is as it should be. So I've unlocked a new way to fight. Ripper mode. Raiden? I'm fine, Kevin. Relax. I'll get the brains. I don't want this for anyone else. All right, man. Later. Alright guys, thank you very much for watching. I'm going to have to cut it short here. That was the monsoon fight. It was pretty insane. Thank you again for uh, stopping by on this series. I hope to do more soon, as they've been coming out quite like regularly. And again, I cannot wait to do Metal Gear Solid 1 and 2, because those games are awesome. And I wish 3 and 4 were on PC, because that 3 is my favourite game. Snake Eater is my favourite game out of every game i played. So, thank you very much for watching, and I'll see you next time. Bye.